Hi everyone, sorry about the uh, bit of the delay, um, but we're here now and I'm going to invite our guests. Great for a few people to come in. Oh, great. Hi, Mason. How are you? Hi, um, sorry about being late. Like I said, I'm just trying to find my uh, my headphones and lost them. No problem. No problem. It can happen. And you know, I just I just was making sure the technical um side was okay. That's all. But it's good to see you. And yeah, feel free to introduce yourself. Yeah, my, um, um, <laughs> hi there, my. my my, my name's Mason and uh, yeah, I do quite a lot of work for uh, autism. Oh, hi. Uh, hi there, I hope you're well. Um, and yeah, I, I, I do quite a lot of work for autism and like um, raising awareness for like the, the unknown, uh, like um, qu qu quite unknown, like um, like things like autism and, 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 mm. and stuff like that. So I like to make awareness of that. And so I'm here for this. That's great. And thank you. It's, it's great to have you. And um, yes, my name is Claude and I am an author and campaigner for the Claude SBN Law and Hidden Disabilities. I believe it's so important that our voice is heard. And of course, in this time, and especially in general, I found that hidden disabilities hasn't really been given the platform as what it could be. So yeah, it will be, it's, I'm really looking forward to us having a chat and saying the importance of an inclusive world for all so yeah yeah so yeah um my story is is that i've been out of education from 2017 and i created the clause sbn law which can be found in the link in bio on my page and um i have autism dyslexia and dyspraxia and also have uh, most of the things within the neurodiverse other than ADHD and yourself um I have um like I said I have autism I've had autism since I was nine years old um I've um yeah I, I, I've had it since I was nine and like Crohn's is uh, it's, it's not in the autism like thing but it's more of an illness which autism is oh. so I've had that since 2017 so uh, oh. quite a while longer well, I've had autism uh, pretty much my, most of my life um, so yeah I, I like to raise awareness for them, them too because they're probably personal to me where yeah. I do I do raise awareness for other stuff as, as well as that at the same time because um, there, there's lots of things to talk about even if you're talking about two things there's lots of sort of things you can talk about in between those things. Yes. And also, would you find, because in my own experience, I found that the qualified teachers and also the kind of understanding for, you could say, neurodiverse and hidden disabilities is not really kind of understood. And I would say that there's more of a kind of um, importance of education there. Would you agree in that point of view? Yeah, I think like 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 with schools, it is very important to talk a, like raise awareness of autism and like and, and 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 different things like that because I feel like 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 so some teachers don't I, I think especially in mainstream schools especially mm. um don't understand and um they might say they understand um in, in yeah. my experience because I was in mainstream I was I was in mainstream school for a year and um. I had to get out because, like, n n uh, n no one understood me. Um, like, oh. I, 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 early on with my autism, I, if I didn't, if I needed help, I wouldn't ask. And uh, because I was saying I was doing fine, but maybe I task. Um, yeah. The teacher walked me, think, oh, he's, he's doing all right, he's doing the work, and 
I'm not deep down I need the help but I'm not asking for it yeah so that like, they not really understanding there and, and they say they do and I, I remember when I did leave um oh. they said um am I gonna come back for a visit and although oh. I did miss I did I did miss some teachers there so, so some teachers did understand um unlike unlike others um yeah so there was a couple of teachers more the helper teachers I would say uh, that that t- 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 take more time to understand you, which I feel like the teachers should as well, because you're you're saying everything to the, the assistant teachers a bit more than maybe the actual teacher who's who, who's teaching you. Yeah, I would totally agree, and it and it's great to hear your experience as well, because I think that there is that kind of um, lack of understanding in the fact that they would say that we are doing okay, but of course, if you are in a kind of mainstream school it feels that it may not be kind of seen or kind of understood that we may find it difficult or we may also need a bit of help or either need kind of an understanding that we may need to kind of um have it broken down in a specific way i was quite shocked that even with the materials i think the materials that are used for us is not really acknowledged to many other people and there is several materials like coloured um wait kind of like these kind of colour cards that make it make it easier for us to understand the words because if you see it on black and white paper it may be confusing. And you could say also like having audio devices that, you know, help us understand that, you know, with words we can kind of read it in a different way and all these materials that basically are provided, but of course it's not really um, understood or kind of funded for as well. Yeah, yeah, I think like because everyone's at, like like it is hard because like I, I suppose it is hard for the teachers as well because they they don't have an understanding of of uh, any of this themselves. So um, I think. It would be it would be nice if they did have a, maybe a little bit of understanding and and they might have yeah. a little bit of understanding but maybe that isn't enough for them to yeah. understand. So even though teachers do get to like maybe to like autism training or or, or or different training of, of different certain things, that maybe not maybe not that that's maybe not enough. And yeah. Like although you have um well, well with my experience going to a different school after that well, which was a special school. Which um, which uh, which understands autism and all not just autism all all different things. All like, the spectrums uh, of neurodiversity, yeah. you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like you got the ADHD, you've got um, mm. you got all, all, all sort of all sort of them, and 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 they have rooms where you have um, like soft play, um, sensory. Mm. But if you want to go out, that they, they know mm. that. And for example, if you're maybe in a, in the school or mainstream school. Um, mm. I would say maybe someone's rocking on their chair, and the teacher automatically think that's they're distracting the class when, when they're not. Um, it's, it's yeah. their own way to maybe not distract. Uh, the, the, but yeah, it's it just certain things that people do that maybe other people may think they're being a naughty person when they're not. But it's not the case. Yeah. I fully understand, and I think that you know these are these are the reasons why, of course, it's such a poignant time for innovation so it's an important time for us to of course come up with these ideas and connect and that is the very reason why I created the clause SCM law that we don't have this kind of massive number of exclusions of students who basically have the entitlement to learn have the should have equal opportunity to uh, you know have a good job at the end of it or have equal opportunities and have a kind of horizon to know that they are worth something and they have qualities and they have also potential and um yeah i think it's so important that of course we have qualified teachers it's important that we also have these kind of facilities uh in funded and also in the fact of education in general because of course what i've found interesting i don't know if you would agree but it seemed like that everything else that hasn't been successful within like work or any other sectors it seemed to kind of of course trickle down from education because education hasn't been funded or it hasn't really been kind of delivered in the right way this is where you have people who gone into jobs that they're not really happy in gone into a kind of 
you could say struggles and kind of not able to fund or put food on the table and of course this is why it's so important and yeah I think even in an environment right now where we've got quite a big number of neurodiverse people like myself and yourself it's kind of that importance of a creative mind as well and the creative opportunities but we see that the creative arts are not really being funded and that's been very concerning and you think like would you say from your experience would you say you remember any creative subjects being included in education yeah any subject from i did art i i yeah i I did art and like at school um been a while since i've done that yeah i did did art um which i spent a day or two like um just having to concentrate everyone has to be quiet you can't say a word and yeah like uh two days a whole two days um like of course like not like 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 at school not like after school hours but when i like i did that and i was drama as well um i did quite i i quite i did quite good in drama although like because um i think it was the last year the school i went to did try did kind of a drama exam because it got really complicated um it got oh. it got more of a um um it's more of a writing exam the drama turned out to be um so okay. you so you'd be doing more writing than actually acting acting it out but yeah there was only like maybe six of us doing it and it was pretty wow. pretty hard i think i did the role of a a might role character so i was more than one person so i was i have to change co- costume quite fast and change role so yeah it, it, like i did i i say i did join i enjoyed school once i did move away from mainstream which it shouldn't be the case like you you, oh. you 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 should enjoy school however like i know there's unfortunate yes. people who who, uh, who do want to leave mainstream but uh oh. say because it is quite hard to go to a school like a, a special school because it's so like there's not many people who are able to do that but uh, yeah yeah it's pretty hard well that's very interesting to know and I think that's the thing is that I went to an independent specialist, but it wasn't specialist in the fact that what I found very interesting is it was a school where it had neurodiverse students. What I found very interesting is you would have the schools that are for like, you could say severe kind of disability. And then you also have the school is what you just said, like where you have neurodiverse. But what I found is they're not, there's a lack of funding for those schools and I found that they are either turned into academies as well. And I think it's interesting that, of course, education needs to be about education. And of course, with the subjects, it seems like there is a kind of lack of continuation with drama. I think it's like you only have a few people in those drama classes and then the resources are... Some of them are made really creatively, but of course, it's like the funding that could be put into it isn't really there and I think it's so interesting to hear from your from from yourself that these improvements of course need to be looked at so yes um there's a lot of improvements there and I think that's the thing where you know if people all get together and they feel to uh it doesn't take long at all but to sign the petition link in bio and yeah you can mm. be part of a change of making your voice heard and of course um calling for action in these important times of equality and also equal opportunities yes. and is there anything else you would like to add on as well well well, your own experience? well, well, well like it started from going to a mainstream school then going on to um a more a more better school for me like like, like i said before like a special school people have autism like me and like mm. You know, feeling left out. But then after that, um, that was that was from year eight to year eleven, of course. When you when you finished school, and then I went on to college. And the the school I went to had a college as well. Like they 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 were making a college, uh, kind of connected to that school, but not in the same place. So I I went there. I did a catering course, and um, I, I decided um, that I because I grew a lot of confidence for going to that school. 
And because I wasn't confident at first, I was like, I've got autism, I can't do anything. But and then I, I got I got confident about doing different things, and then I decided to myself, I'm gonna leave the college that was part. Of. I was there about a year. Like the reason I wanted to leave, what, it's, it's nothing against the college at all. It was just because mm. the same people was there. Like I wasn't really meeting anyone yeah. there. Well, what, what which what I wanted to do, and then I went to a college, like a proper mainstream college. And I, I I I went on a course that like meeting different people and 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 that was that was fine I, I did quite good on that and um yeah but uh, I had one I think the first year was like really good and then the uh and then like of course coronavirus uh, hit and it, uh, because of me me and my Crohn's which puts me quite vulnerable to different things mm. like, um and not not even because of the, like, of course the coronavirus does as well. But even before that, yeah. um, even before I was cautious about different things. But, but the, the reason what puts me vulnerable is is, is, is basically because I, I'm on like chemo drugs, which dampen my immune system. So, um, which uh, which isn't good in a pandemic. So, um, so I, I I did the most of the year just gone at home. Um, so that would have been last time I went to college would have been December time. So it was off from from that. But um, I hope things get better. I know, I know the, yeah. the, the, the we all have our opinions about what uh, the, the what, what just happened last week with the uh, um, what, what they said in, in the briefing. Uh, um, yes. As well. So I think well, we we'll, we'll all have different opinions on that, but which is good in a way, so we can all uh, say how we feel. But um, it's good, yeah. like uh, which can be hard for people as well to like un like understand what someone is saying so if like like for me for what mm. I, it's been said i feel that yes it's not the right uh it's not the right way forward at the moment um no um other people might like they're calling it freedom day aren't they the 9th of july for um, um mm. for uh like or, or basically there's no uh like mask anymore there's going to be no social uh, like like keeping your meats apart anymore so like um for some people that, that, that that's going to be great, but for for people, other people that are are, are in a, are in a, a category like being vulnerable, are, are yeah maybe feel like they're they're, they're forgotten, and that that that, 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 that could be the autism community as well, um mm. because they're, 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 I know I know some people I know with me as well I I don't like um people coming too close to me so um yeah um, so it's just stuff stuff like that I know but like um. But no, just my opinion that I feel it wasn't the right uh, but the way forward at the minute, especially as we're in a uh, in a wave, aren't we? With with, with yeah. the virus as well. And I understand where you're coming from because do you feel that in general, on an in general factor, do you feel that we have representation? Because I feel personally that we don't really have representation in the fact that we don't have a neurodiverse minister, or we don't have a representation of a person who may be disabled or person that would understand us what yeah. would you say i think like with like the prime minister um that in, in a way you can understand why he's done what he's done because um like um because it like it, at the minute we're feeling like like coronavirus is not going to stop that if, the, if 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 we don't like do this now when are we going to do it? But another way, you do feel like you are being forgotten. Like, like, like before, he was talking about the shielding, which is a, oh. a like the category of the vulnerable, which I was in. And for months, I've been heard and speak about that. So, um, it, like, and, and the people like who have autism, um, it, it, you do feel like you're being forgotten, and like he's just like putting you aside. And then it makes you feel now that that because it's a choice for people to wear a mask. And I know, I know, um, like the blue masks that don't really protect you, do they? Then they're they're, they're, mm. they're they're not that protective than other masks that can be quite uh, protective. But like, like I like so say I'm going out, I wouldn't wear my mask only if I, um, um, like maybe cut like a crowd of people there, I, I would put it up. But it it, it, it it does make you. It's quite scary times, even more scary times of all. With, because I think we're the first country to do it to lose yeah. all near enough all of them at the same time, and 
um, so, so uh, other people are thinking it's mad and other people they're not so it's all it's all about opinions isn't it would you feel would you feel that um what what's your opinion on the hidden disability um sunflower skin team do you feel that that's been beneficial or do you think it needs more of a uh, 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 more of awareness i think like where, like where you can wear a like you can wear like a sun around your neck can't you and you have your little bag oh. you've got autism i feel like it's maybe not it's good it, it shows you have autism but oh. um, you, it is hard like I, I don't personally wear it um because um i, I i'm more than happy to say i, I have autism i, I have i i i, I uh, uh, like we have to like for some people with um using to feel toilet for example a disabled toilet in public um you may yeah. you may get a uh, like to, like you may get asked questions why are you using that you can't use that and it's a uh, it's quite upsetting to hear that because like although people do use it just for the sake of it don't they that's just because there's a mm. toilet there and the, the public toilet's free I'll, I'll just use it as a disabled one but like in, in in the past, I've had to um I've I've needed to use one and I've gotten looks before. Um, uh, but I remember one time I I, I needed one and like the the, the, the the it was near a McDonald's um and yeah what happened was there was a long queue uh, that that was going outside the door and then I I walk above I walk beside the queue and so I I I've got a badge, um. I've got a badge. Um, like when, when you have Crohn's and IBD, um, you yeah. can, you can have a just can't wait badge, and where oh. uh, which which it, 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 I, I've used it in like restaurants where there's not a toilet, and, and I, like I've like I'll, I'll tell you there was something, and it, um, I'll go back to the McDonald's thing in a minute. But one time I needed a toilet, and I, I went into. Um, uh, I can't remember what it was now, but it, it was a toilet. I, I asked, "Is there any public yeah. toilets?" And they said no. And I said, um, can, I said "Can I use a staff toilet then? I've got I've got Crohn's. Do you know what Crohn's is?" And they said, "Yeah, I know what yeah. Crohn's is, but can't they use it?" I said, "I said, w w why can't you let me use it? I need a toilet." And they said, uh, "It's only for staff only." And, th and then I still said, "I need a toilet. Are you not gonna let me use it?" Oh. And then they still said no. And, th and then out of my pocket, uh, uh, like I got the can't wait, just can't wait card out. But they don't have to. It's not law. It's not law for them to let me use the toilet, but they did, because uh, I did say I, 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 your uh, your floor would be uh, in puddles in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I I eventually was allowed, but it was a bit of an effort. It wasn't it wasn't easy to 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 be able to go, but um, yeah, like and then like going back to the McDonald's situation, that, that there was a long queue it, um out, out of McDonald's, and I, oh. I, um and I, I skipped the queue. <laughs> Um, and I, I I went in to use the toilet, and of course I got half a dozen, half a dozen looks saying, "How come? Oh, you you got to go to the back of the line?" And I said, "No." Yeah, I, of I, course. I, I, mm. I need to use it now. I, I like I know the public toilet may be full, but um, I like if I don't go, <laughs> the the like although there are other like things, but it it does help if you have maybe that autism card maybe around your neck or yeah, or, 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 and also. <laughs> And also adding on to that, I just thank thank you for sharing because I think that just shows an example of how the lack of understanding for people in general. I think it's quite crazy that only since twenty yeah twenty twenty really I've been aware that you know the hidden disability sunflower has been making it more visible that hidden disabilities is equally you know entitled to being aware and understood by other people but of course we saw a bit more of a way to go in the fact that that's why i created a cause scn law because i found that these issues where you would find it an issue and difficult to find toilet facilities proper kind of you know the kind of facilities that should be catered for us and also that understanding of people understanding neurodiverse people of course understanding hidden disabilities, um, pro, uh, Crohn's disease, and all these kind of factors that are so important, including epilepsy, because I've heard that there's not even expert nurses or trained people to really understand epilepsy or Crohn's or any of these hidden disabilities. And you're thinking we're supposed to be in the 21st century, 
are supposed to be accommodating for hidden disabilities and people with neurodiverse but unfortunately it's not like that and we don't have we don't have representation so yeah thank you for sharing and it's really kind of horrible and sad to hear that and you know you're just thinking it's unfortunate that us youth and you could say change makers like ourselves have to bring these changes but at least we are the voices and of course we can call for action and make it more of an equal diverse world yeah yeah i think that's a, uh, that, that, that's really good to do mm. and would you say that in the curriculum would you say that you feel that the curriculum needs more added into it and needs to be you could say more accommodating than academic so more like creative and more kind of mm. modern kind of ideas yeah yeah i think i think it is really important like like there are a lot of things that need improvement and like with like i say especially school but no, no, not, not not the school oh. outside of the school like work placement that need to have a bit yeah. of understanding because I, I went to a work experience once and um um, and they said that they have never heard of autism before. No one have ever heard wow. of autism before. And I'm thinking, you know, you've been serious. And then it was like, yeah, I've like maybe heard a little bit about it, but I don't know what it is. And I was, I was quite shocked. And like, I was thinking to myself, how do you not know? Like, I know, I know, like, not everyone knows a lot about it, but surely you've heard yeah. of it. But yeah, of it, that that has shocked me. But yeah, I do think there's a lot not needs to be done to like. Yeah. Um, support everyone and, and not make people oh I feel uncomfortable like they've done something wrong mm, of course and it's interesting to uh, hear you say that because I've, I've been quite shocked as well that other people it's been, a, it's been a very enhancing kind of education for them to know about neurodiverse and that's why I also make sure and I'm sure you do on your page I, I make sure that I have videos to explain what it is and they can learn and they can also inform themselves. Because this is the thing, I think really we're never too old and we're never really, it's never too late to learn, of course, and be more accommodating. And um, yeah, it's, it's important that they are aware of these, you know, you could say qualities that we have because they are gifts and qualities and we do learn in a different way. And what I found very interesting is, is I've, listen to some people and they said that they don't want to be called like labels however i could say as a neurodiverse myself i'm proud that i'm neurodiverse and proud that i have the qualities because i wouldn't say that i see it as my challenges and i think it's important that we enhance them and i think the names that they've been created are not too bad i understand that some people say that they would rather them be renamed or you know, be a better term. But I think it's just the educating others and also improving those sectors that are quite systematic, quite bureaucratic, you could say, and also the fact that they're not modern and they're not kind of innovative and creative because the amount of us who've created these ideas, well, you know, we've got a next generation that will need these kind of tools to understand how they're going to be also adaptable and creative for themselves as well so yeah, yeah um yeah. it's really interesting to hear what you have to say and yeah if there's anything what, what, what would you say about um the factor of Crohn's disease would you say you found would you, would you say there's support systems there would you say there's organizations that you would recommend yeah, yeah, there's, there's like a lot, lot of autism. You have the o o autistic um, society, which is it's quite good for support. Mm. Um, which, um, which, like, yeah, you have the like, for that o autism wise, and then you probably have a few more, but that that I think they're one of the best ones. Um, and then yeah. and then you've got for Crohn's disease, you've got a couple of good organisations. You've got Crohn's and Colitis UK. Colitis is pretty similar to Crohn's disease, although um, I, I like between the two, it's it, it, a, a bit different. Where Crohn's disease can affect like your whole, uh, like 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 your whole body, uh, really. Mm. And, and like colitis, I think only affects your colon, but they're both not very nice. So 
Um, they're, oh. they're in the same wavelength, IBD, which is an inflammatory bowel disease. So, like, you have a Crohn's Affairs UK, you have, um, I think you have, a, like, like um, you have Citra. It, it's, it's another charity for your young adults as well. So, um, Interesting. You have, yeah, you have quite, quite a few. And, like, like, because, of course, you have surgery and you're pretty, uh, like, um, you're pretty sure to have surgery. Um, like, like, like uh, if you're getting diagnosed quite young, so mm. I, I was diagnosed when I was 16 and I'm wow. 19 now. So, mm. well, when you l- look at this, like, like, the records of how many people have surgery in their lifetime, mm. it's quite a lot of people mm. have IBD have surgery. Lucky enough, I haven't had surgery while I've had Crohn's, um, which is mm. not cure either, so, um, at, at the moment. So, um, yeah, so like with that, and then like you can get a stoma as well. Also, you can get a stoma with multiple things, but you're pretty, you can get it with clients or uh, clients and Crohn's. So, Interesting. So thanks I, for sharing. Yeah, and yeah, I haven't had I haven't had the stoma yet either. So, um, but it, I've heard it does save quite a lot of people's lives. Um, what happened? Crohn's, IBD. Yeah, but yeah, like like, like going back to the autism, like you have um. Like on an organisation called the Mighty School Council, which, which is, I, I'm mm. actually a part of that as well. Which um, I like. My role is to raise awareness of different things, like like breaking down perceptions of of, 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 of hidden things, and um, what happens if uh, like the Mighty School Council will go into the schools and and they and they support like like the children, um, like m- yeah. m- most of all, and like you have like, like there's quite a lot of uh, like like people involved with it. And um, yeah, like my, my role was raised my of Crohn's and uh, um, autism, but like there's like, all, all different things you can do. Like you do lots of problems, yeah, like, which is good. Like that helps raise awareness and um, it helps just it helps all sort of different people who feel like like there's all like they're, 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 there's different kind of projects which help the different people. Like I did a confidence building program. For for, for for young people, which I wouldn't have done if I didn't build my confidence. So, um, so you can you do build your confidence, but I I'm, I think if I like maybe got done a bit younger, I might not have been as confident as I am. Well, that's brilliant to hear, and um, yes, I'm aware of the multi school council. They're done really well, and congratulations as well on your award. Well yeah, done. Yeah, and I, um, I didn't think. Uh, of course, I don't. I don't like. I don't do it for any awards or anything like that. Mm, of course but, not. But yeah, yeah. yeah well but done on what you've been nice doing have, on your like, podcast. And... It was a surprise, and like I, I didn't think I was going to get an award because I thought like like because like like that it might like if anyone did get an award, it may be one of the younger people involved with it. Like mm. like not 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 me, but like maybe because I was in for quite a lot of the year, I still raised the awareness at home. So, like, doing certain things. So, it was nice. It was, it was nice to have. That's brilliant. And, um, yeah, I think it's so important that you and myself and everybody else, we bring that awareness for an inclusive world and a diverse world. And, um, yes, this Instagram Live will be available to watch for rewatch. And also, um, it's been a pleasure. And, yeah, we'll keep in touch. And um, it's so important that we call for action and please do all support the Clause STN law for an equal world. And um, yes, even for acknowledgement of youth homelessness as well, um, there's a big number of people that are youth like myself who are homeless and also currently sofa surfing. And it's important that we call for that action and funding and we also have a better modern education system and also have contingency plans for an artificial intelligence society so that was myself Claude and Mason and it's been a pleasure and thank you for all those who have joined and watched thank you thank you we'll keep in touch bye see ya bye bye